Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of integer operations. This is standard 6.3D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 30 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a very simple problem. It says the teacher wrote this expression. Now let's make sure we understand the significance of this term expression. We're calling this an expression because there are there's no equal signs. So when we want to write the value of this expression, what we need to do is we need to simplify this. Now the second we turn this into an equals and then even maybe uh, some type of variable like equals x, now that turns into an equation. So an equation has an equal sign. An expression does not have an equal sign. So all we're needing to do is simplify this, but this really gets into our order of operations. And we are looking at integers, meaning we are looking at whole numbers that are positive or negative. So we look at our negative 6 and our 2 and then our plus, and let's take a look at this first. We always want to take care of our parentheses first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of rewrite this right here. I'm going to write exactly what was there because remember I always remember think of our please excuse my dear Aunt Sally right so we've got this parentheses first that we want to take care of so plus and then let's take care of that negative 8 divided by 4 well having a negative doesn't really do anything just think of 8 divided by 4 so if we're gonna think 8 divided by 4 well, that's easy. That's going to be 2. That's a basic fact. We learned that in third grade. So negative 8 divided by 4 means simply negative 2. Because we've just got this negative here, and this is a positive. If that 4 doesn't have any type of operation there, it's going to default to a positive. And you always have to remember, negative and a positive, or a positive and a negative. It doesn't matter the order. Always equals a negative. So we had a negative 8 and a positive 4, and that made negative 2. So now I've got parentheses negative 6, parentheses 2, plus this negative 2. So let's take care of this first, because there is a hidden operation here, which you probably know, but there is a, a secret. Whenever you see anything outside of a parentheses or two parentheses together, it's always going to be multiplication. For whatever reason, we can show multiplication without showing the multiplication sign. So this is actually negative 6 times 2 is what that is. Now we'll use parentheses because sometimes it gets confusing. If, it's, if the second number is a negative, it looks like times negative or times minus, and it gets confusing. So whenever you have a two parentheses together like that, it's going to be multiplication. So let's go ahead and just rewrite it like that. Another way we could have done that is, is we simply could have uh, done it like this. We could have done negative 6. You could have had one of them outside of the parentheses. Or you could have done like this, negative 6. That's a little bit weird. Typically, the, this number would always go in front, but it wouldn't make any difference with the order property. So negative 6 times 2, that's going to be negative 12, because remember, what we have here is a positive and negative. So that's plus negative 2. So remember, positive and negative, that makes a negative, minus 2. So now we have negative 12 minus 2, and that's going to equal minus 14, or that's going to simplify to minus 14. So that's my answer, but you notice there's no A, B, C, or D. So what we need to do is we need to take a look at what the answer document would have. So your answer document is going to be kind of confusing. It's going to have a negative. It's going to have a spot for two different uh, decimals. It's going to have a, a spot for uh, four different whole numbers. And then it's going to have a plus minus over here on the side. So what we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to fill in our 14. But make sure we do it in the ones place and the tens place here. You don't need anything in the tenths or the hundreds. You don't need anything in the hundreds or thousands. And then you are going to have to bubble in this negative right here. Make sure you bubble that in right there. And then you bubble in your answers below, and you got your answer, negative 14. 